All right, everyone, it's time to grab a pencil or a paper, or if you're using a whiteboard, I've loved seeing the pictures of some of you online using shaving cream or even um, moon dough. You could use Play-Doh or paint, really anything to make these letters and practice the way that they are written. So again, our letter is U, yes, uppercase U and a lowercase U. So we're gonna practice together. And there's some things that I like to say in my brain as I'm writing these letters, um, and they might be helpful to you too. So when I look at this uppercase letter U, I see that there's sort of two lines that go down and then it almost looks like almost looks like a swing kind of at the bottom where you would sit to swing on a swing set. Uh, it also looks like the sign that I see where it says, you know, no U-turn. That's where this came from. That letter U, no swinging around and turning in the street. Um, so those are things that you can say to yourself to kind of remind you of what the shape of this letter is. So when I draw and when I write the uh, uppercase U, I always start at the top. I go down and then I swoop and come right back up. So I have those two straight lines on the side, but then there's that swoop at the bottom. It's curved at the bottom. I can't make a straight line down there. Mm -mm. Looks like I didn't finish writing a rectangle. So I want to make that line at the bottom curved, or I say in my brain when I write it, a swoop. So down, swoop, up. Down, swoop, up. Down, up. Now you try it. You can even write on the carpet in front of you or in your hand, turn your hand into a special notebook. Try it with me. Say something to help you remember what this letter U looks like. Down, up. Down, swoop, up. Very good. Now go back and check your work. Do all of your U's. This one kind of looks flat to me. So I'm going to erase that one and I'm gonna to try to get that swoop at the bottom. Go back and check your work. Are there any that can look a little bit better? Do you need to cross something out, erase it, or maybe smoosh up that Play-Doh and try it again? I'm gonna try this one over. Down, swoop, up. Ah, that swoop looked much better. So go back and check your work. Is there anything that you can sort of fix up to make it look more like the uppercase letter U? I think all of these look pretty good. You, 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 you. Okay, now we're gonna go to the other side and I wanna write the lowercase letter U. Okay, so it looks a lot like the uppercase letter U, but there's a stick on the side. So I will draw down, swoop, up, and a stick. Notice how I don't pick up my pencil. I make one motion down, up, and down again for the stick. Try it with me. Down, up, down again for the stick. Down, up, down again for the stick. Okay, you practice at home. Down, up, down again. And notice my stick is not really long. Ooh, that one, that does not look like a letter U. That looks like a crazy Y. My stick just comes about the same as that bottom swoop part. Here, I'm gonna show you something really funny. You can take this letter U and make it into an N. N and U are what I like to call switcheroo letters. So if you flip that upside down, the lowercase U, and that is a lowercase N. So these are kind of fun letters. If you have magnet letters at home or any other kind of block letter, this is a neat one 
um, to switcheroo. So let's try three more lowercase letter U's at home. And then if you want to practice on a piece of paper or a whiteboard, take a picture of it and show it to me. Send it to me in an email or um, post it online. I love seeing what you're practicing on. It makes me really happy to know that you guys are learning and practicing at home. Okay, let's try three more lowercase letter U's. Down, up, stick. Down, up, stick. Down, up, and stick. Great. Okay, I feel really good about what we practiced today. Uppercase letter U and lowercase letter U. All right, guys, keep practicing. Have fun.